from Melanie B's Creative Studio and Melanie B's Creative Supplies. And today I have another absolutely beautiful paint by number kit for you. It has been a long time since I brought to you Let's Paint Anywhere. So this is the Paint Anywhere kit. This painting is from the artist Joy Laforme. And I have brought her art to you in prior videos. Now they do come in a very nice tube. So that's always a beautiful thing to see when you know that you're getting your kit in a storage tube. I love this. You know, the first thing I wanna discuss is a little bit about the company. This is a US-based company. It's only using licensed artists. I'm bringing you Joy LaForme again because I'm absolutely obsessed with her artwork. <laughs> and she's the reason I even knew about Let's Paint Anywhere because she had commented on one of my videos and we had a little conversation back and forth and she was like, well, my artwork is sold as a paint by number at this shop. So that's how I found this company to begin with. And in the future, I'm gonna be bringing you some artwork from some other artists from Let's Paint Anywhere. But right now we're gonna get into the kit. We're gonna see what the contents are and we're going to go through the kit just like I've been doing for 2023. We're going to paint a little bit on the canvas. We're going to see if we need a gesso or not. Test the paints. You know what we do. Let's do it. Before I open all these items out of these packages that are bouncing lights everywhere, I wanted to show you that the paints do come in a sealed bag. So as we've talked about in the past, that's always a nice thing because that means that it's gonna help preserve the paints and extends the longevity of the paints while they're being stored. The first thing I notice, and the first thing a lot of you are gonna notice is there's no reference guide. So what do we do in a situation where we don't have a reference guide? That is when you are going to take photos of your canvas before you start. I take my cell phone and I will take photos of this piece in quadrants. I make sure that I tap the screen of my camera and make sure it's focused. Don't get super close because if you get super close, your camera loses focus. Then you can zoom in to those sections and see the numbers. I even do that sometimes when I have a reference guide and it is the handiest tool. Are you guys seeing this beautiful palette? It is gorgeous. I love these periwinkle blues right here, but I'm not gonna go into it because we're gonna look at the swatch in a minute. I wanna show you the contents of the kit. A photo reference here. So it's got a picture of what our painted project should look like. Now, if you'll notice, this is a square painting when it's done. So it is not a full 16 by 20. Um, you guys know I love that because I'm no longer really very interested and doing huge projects. I don't have the time, but also there are many of you, including myself, that have done so many paint by numbers now that you no longer have the wall space. You do them for the enjoyment, the art therapy, what I like to call Zen therapy of it. You like the smaller sizes. So this one is a 16 by 16, which just gives us a smaller surface area. And I love it. And the reason I chose this design is because here we are in the winter time and it just had such a beautiful winter feel to it. And I love the color palette. And I'm always bringing you these springy, summery vibe type of paintings. And I thought I'm gonna go totally different. And this one, I love. And you guys who followed me for a long time and watch my videos, have probably heard my story about the taxis. So these taxis, I have a long history with yellow caps. So, all right, moving on. One other thing I really love, there's so much about these kits I love, but one thing I really love is that our color palette here has the numbers, but our paint pots 
are already numbered. So we don't have to apply stickers or anything like that. They're just already numbered on the top. That's done for us. Yay. And she's included five nice brushes instead of the typical cheap plasticky brushes. These are wooden handle painted brushes. And we also have the different types. Let me move these out of the way. Of course, I'm gonna be swatching the paints in a minute, but we'll come back to that. I've been asked a lot in the past about shaded canvases, whether they're better, whether they're worse, whether there, there is no difference in a shaded canvas as far as quality or any of that versus a black and white printed canvas, okay? As far as the print goes, there's no like difference. But I wanna say this in my personal opinion, I love a shaded canvas. It doesn't make your paint better or worse as far as coverage, but, and I know I've said this a bunch for those who've watched a lot of my videos, but what I love is that when you are doing the scavenger hunt of numbers, and you know what I'm talking about, and you are looking for number 18, pulling a number out of my butt right now, which would be uncomfortable. And you say, okay, here's number 18, paint, paint 18. Where are all the 18s? I can almost just automatically say 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, because the shading it's the same for all the 18s. Yes, I might miss one, because there's like a hundred of those 18s, but you see my point? I love shaded canvases. I love them. So it is just a personal thing. I don't dislike the ones that aren't shaded, but I just feel like it's so easy to find what I'm looking for on a shaded canvas. The other thing you will notice is they have red lines and numbers. So what that means is you can still see, so very visible, very clear and we're going to test to see how easy is that to cover i'm going to be doing the test in a minute section with no gesso art basics matte gesso and liquitex clear gesso so we're we're going to do that in a minute and see which one works better but first let's take a look at the paints and how they swatched so let me do that and i'm going to be right back okay so let's take a minute and talk about this palette it is fabulous I know, I say that all the time, but y'all, I don't pick paintings that don't have fabulous palettes. I mean, hello, why would you pick a painting that doesn't have a fabulous palette? But as far as opacity of the paints, there were only a couple that were not opaque and they were not transparent. And so I am testing the paints on printable canvas. And I always put a link in the description so that you can find this. But this is my digital swatch guide that I have at my shop that is downloadable and printable and all that stuff. So I have I've printed it on this canvas. The point is that I'm actually swatching on a canvas surface here that is unprepped with no gesso. And that is how I test the paints and kits. I'm getting as accurate of a result as I can possibly get without painting on the canvas, which I'm gonna do anyway. But I wanna show you that these paints are beautiful. I mean, they're just beautiful. Now, of course, number 17 with its bright fluorescent is going to be our worst enemy, which usually happens with a fluorescent paint. It's just the nature of the beast. Just like with yellows, it's the pigment that causes the problem. And so that can happen. This paint is really beautiful. Consistency, you can see it's creamy. It moves beautifully on the surface. And for those of you who want to start doing texture, like I've been showing in some recent videos, you could build this up and give it the texture. Let's say maybe on the taxi cabs, on the lights that are on the little trees and whatnot. And you could, you could do that with this paint. It's got that texture, but it's also very creamy. So let's move on to testing the canvas. I'll get it all set up and I'll be back. Okay, so let's do the gesso test. For this test, we're gonna work on the taxi, which is number 10, and that's the yellow. 
This taxi has no gesso. This taxi has the Art Basics matte clear gesso. And this taxi has the Liquitex clear gesso with the rough texture. So let me get started. I will time lapse this part and I will go through and we'll talk about how this canvas takes the paint. I'll be using my Melanie B's Custom uh, Zero Mini Flat Brush for this part of the demonstration. Let's get started. Okay, so I finished up those three samples. Let's take a look at the difference in the three. This one I had to go back over a couple of times as it dried with the yellow to cover the tin, and it's still showing through just a little bit. This one, I went over it a couple of times for the coverage, and with the Liquitex, it covered almost completely the first time, and then I just touched up the tin to get full coverage. So I did get better coverage with the Liquitex, which I'd usually do. But the texture of the canvas itself, it doesn't have the deep divots in it. So you don't have to use clear gesso to fill the divot. So my point of that is to say, if you only use your clear gesso to fill in the little white spots, the little white dots, you don't have to use clear gesso for these pieces. You know, I use it for two reasons, which is, to first give me that level surface, and second to give me a little bit better uh, paint coverage for colors like yellow or the other one we talked about earlier, which is that fluorescent. In summary, you don't need clear gesso unless you just want a little bit better paint coverage on some of the more troublesome colors. That will be your decision to make. I will be using my Liquitex clear gesso every time because it does seem to accept the paint the way I like it, and it does give me the better coverage the first time, and I don't have to go back and do as much second coat coverage because I don't do second layers. I do what you saw me do, which is as this one was drying, I'm going back and adding a little bit over the number and smoothing it out, and I don't do let it all dry and then come back and do all the number tens again because that is just excessive work. So that's it for testing the canvas. I say it to you guys and I really do it. I do gesso every canvas. Well, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of Let's Paint Anywhere and this Joy La Form Beauty City Lights. I absolutely love these paint kits. So I'm gonna put the links in the description below about where you find these kits. You can also find my shopping links and my social media and how to connect with me on all the social media platforms that I am on at melaniebee.info. I'll put that across the screen. And also there's gonna be a link in the description below. Thank you guys as always for watching and I will see you back soon.